He ate the tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> he ate Dude. the tennis ball. And it's, look at it, it's totally oh gone. Oh my God. How's that? <laughs> That's a committed bite. <laughs> this fly is built out of backer rod, craft fur, and craft foam. And there's a couple eyes on it and on a six aught uh, predator stinger hook. Oh my God. Uh, hey Dan, I think you wanted it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Nice work, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. It's funny because you see that giant fly and it's a giant profile in the water and it sinks very slowly as you might imagine. It's got a lot of bulk to it. So it's sinking. As it's sinking real slow, you see them nose right up on you. You can see their pectoral fins going and they're all just looking, looking, looking. You can tell they're going to bite it. They're just, just debating when they want to bite it. And then all of a sudden, whoom, and that whole fly just disappears. You see the gills pop open and that 14 inch fly is gone. And uh, it's it's pretty exciting way to watch it you know it's, it is not exactly the subtle eat of a dry fly uh, by any stretch when one of them eats that and the funny thing is they just grab it and sit there they go, whoop, and suck it in and then the pike just sits there he's not afraid of anything and then I flubbed the hook set <laughs> uh -huh, like that <laughs> I don't care if it's big and heavy if it just gets bit over and over again <laughs> Well, these fish are really liking that fly. Oh man, there uh, and there's a pile of them sitting there. I can't believe how many of them are sitting there. You did a good job tying that fly. I mean, I, it's not me that judges; it's the fish, and they're telling you they like it. Well, and, and yesterday, um, for the record, guys, when we flew in yesterday, we went out and fished for a couple hours real quick, and Tim caught one about 36, and another one about 40 or 41 on that fly. Getting bites is not the hard part, it's getting them hooked from there. The hook setting was, that was something I didn't practice before I... Uh, it's hard to practice that, right? Well, but I think having somebody with no fly on the end of your rod pull the line and then you have to, you need strip a strip set. Up. You can't lift into these fish. Um, so that strip setting part of the deal, and it took me, you know, the first day I threw the fly rod, I missed countless fish. Oh. oh, strip, strip, strip. There you go, oh, bro, bro, strip. There you go, boom. That was a big eat right there, dude. <laughs> what do you think of that, Farns? You got to bend in your 10 weight. Yes, I do. <laughs> Who tied that fly, Farns? It's another my tie. My tie. My tie. Well, that's that's Polynesian for pike fly. I guess that's different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Holy cow, that was big. Oh! oh! Do you need a hug? Second day, missed countless because you get excited in the moment. You can see these fish rushing the fly. You know they've got it, but trying to lift on them with that rod, line, and fly combo and a single hook. That's, that's a tough thing to get a hook into a toothy critter's jaw. Like well, they're bite feeders, right? So they clamp on that thing, it's a lot to hold on to. Uh, and then when you watch the footage, you'll see that, yeah, okay, we lifted into a whole bunch of them because, like Tim's saying, it's not intuitive to you. And some of them you end up hooking that way you get lucky. It's a straight strip set, correct? Yep, straight strip set. And do you highly recommend that people practice before they come with a big rod? Oh yes. If you're going to come and you want to fly fish and you don't know how to fly fish, I recommend taking a few lessons. Um, we can work with you at the oh. lodge. And oh, strip, strip, strip. Oh. <laughs> If you are thinking of going to saltwater, this is a really great place to come before going to saltwater because you have a lot of opportunity to learn how to strip set. If you're a trout fisherman, you probably have a whole lot of muscle memory of wanting a trout right, set. Right. But when you're pike fishing or you're saltwater fishing, you want to strip set and you want to set it in there to their freaking jaw so you want to get it, sink that hook in there. Get mad at them. They're yeah. mad at that. Get mad at that fish. Well, and all the fun and jokes aside, they have a lot of teeth, and all those teeth are grabbing those feathers and all that synthetic material. Just let that thing sink. There you go. Oh, bro, bro, strip, strip. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> See, he's got muscle memory of trout setting. Exactly. For the record, he did the first two yesterday that way, and then he got it and didn't miss any of them after that. <laughs> all right, left hand. Left hand does all the
Okay, here we go. And guys, we're gonna give Tim a hard time about it because this is something I messed up horribly last year. And, uh, and Dan here is only half joking with his uh, ambitious description. There you go. There's see you see what happens it. when you strip set? You sink that hook into his face. You did it. <laughs> Nice work, Farnsey. Nice work. Good job, Dan. Nicely done, Tim. Your rod never hardly moved. You just yanked. Great stuff. So, Tim, who tied that fly? This is a this is a custom fly. Uh, not available in stores. Uh, not available in stores. Available at your tying bench. <laughs> I actually knew this trip was coming since uh, you know early January, so I tied an entire box of stuff just for this trip. Look at that fly. And this little guy. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Until he figured out it had a hook in it. Yep. A little one. But He's cute. He's cute. He's good to cute. practice on, get Farnsey warmed up. Yep. Nicely done. If you watch Dan Paul do it, who's doing it his whole life, his whole hook set's right here with his left hand. Big, big strip set into those fish, and you hook a lot more of them that way. But you're going to get enough tries that it's okay. You, you, oh, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good that's fish. That's a good one. Oh I my saw God. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. I'm going to put this down. I'm doing some of that guide stuff. All right, I'll put this back in here. Okay, okay. Okay, where's the boga? All right, guys, it's not very often that I get to be involved with it. And it's not very often that the client lets me fish. <laughs> Chad, you have no idea how much I enjoy Oh, dude, that is a good one. I didn't realize he was that big. He came out of nowhere and annihilated it. Come on, buddy. Come on over here. Ooh, I get to deal with the green one. He's wrapped, yeah. He rolled in it a little. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I was oh, going to say, yeah. I don't think he's ready. <laughs> Holy schmoly. And he's got a net in the boat, guys, but we don't net him because these things are full of teeth and it's a rubberized net to be easy on fish, which means it's a good way for a pike to eat a hole in your net. He's hot still. Yeah, he little, is. Little. And your, your, your uh, steel eater is partially broken. See it? Uh, it's just, I think it's just a coating on it. Oh, is it? Okay. He's okay. There we go. Oh, that's a beaut. Got him. Easy, easy. Yep, watch easy. your arm. Yeah, yeah, I am. You got slack. Okay, you get in here. Oh. Hot fish. There you go. And that's a 14 pounder. So that's the last right. three have been a 14, a 16, and a 20. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good fishing hole you got, bud. Can you pull them up for another shot that time? Uh, uh. There we go. Look at that. That's a. That's a nice looking fish, huh? He's a good looking savage, this guy right here. This is my favorite savage of all. I'll just let him go and yep. you can fling him. Go ahead and let him go. There you go. All right, do so you let him go? Mm -hmm.